cartoons, they are important. Hello Word Nerds, it's Friday and that means I get to talk to you about inspirational things. Today I'm going to talk to you about the five most inspirational cartoons. Number five is Courage the Cowardly Dog. I'm assuming most of you guys have heard of Courage, have seen it, or you at least know what it's about. I picked Courage the Cowardly Dog to be on this list because it shows that it's okay to take risks in your writing. Now Courage the Cowardly Dog is a children's show and yet there are several things that could be deemed scary. But the creators of Courage didn't listen to probably all the naysayers and said this is going to be way too scary for kids. If this is your target audience you should definitely get you something else. They went with what they thought would be good and it turned out that it was. My next cartoon that is really inspirational is not exactly a TV show, it's actually a movie, and it's Zootopia. Zootopia is a rather new film, so not everyone has heard of it yet or seen it. It is about a bunny named Judy Hopps who wants to be a police officer in Zootopia. And Zootopia is the city, it's where predator and prey animals can get along, can be friends, and work together. The reason I think Zootopia is inspirational is because, because it attracts people of all ages. It's not just a kids movie. Yes, it was made for the intention of children to be watching it, but it just, it, it crossed all age barriers. Much like Harry Potter was meant to be a kids book, but everyone loves it. It's the same kind of thing with Zootopia. The next cartoon I have is The Rugrats. I absolutely adore The Rugrats. Um, I picked Rugrats to be on this list because it stood through the ages of time. Everyone knows what the Rugrats are. Even if you weren't a fan of them, you still are aware of them. I love that show, and I want my writing to be something that people love for generations. The next one on my list is one of my absolute favorite shows, Avatar The Last Airbender. I picked this to be on my inspirational cartoon list because it was such a new idea. The characters have such good character development and that's the point that why I put this on my list because the characters are so developed. I feel like I know Aang and Katara and Sokka and Toph. They're not flat characters. They're very dimensional. They have their ups and their downs and they have honest feelings. I thought that was really inspirational to even though your characters might be in difficult situations to not lose sight of who they are and to give your characters dimension. This last cartoon is hands down my favorite cartoon I have ever seen in my entire life, Steven Universe. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this show. Rebecca Sugar is the most intelligent person to just come up with this idea. If you don't know about Steven Universe, because I know there's a few people that probably don't, Steven Universe is a show about these this group of superheroes called the Crystal Gems. Now the Crystal Gems are, I guess they're aliens from outer space, but they, they came to protect the Earth from others of their kind. And they all have a gemstone somewhere in their body. There, there is Pearl, Amethyst, Garnet, and Steven. So the show is Follow Steven and his journey to becoming this full Crystal Gem. I put this cartoon to be number one on the inspiration list because it takes every single aspect I've talked about in the previous cartoons and they, it puts it into one cartoon. They challenge ideas. There is an LGBT element to the show which hasn't really been done before. The characters have so much character development and every single time I watch an episode I learn more about these characters and I care about them which is one of the most important parts in writing. It crosses age barriers. This show is on Cartoon Network and it's supposed to be for kids but I love it. I know several adults that love it. I know teenagers that love it, preteens and children that love the show. It crosses all age barriers. And that's another really, really good thing that I talked about with Zootopia. It's also in Steven Universe. I cannot say enough good things about the show. Well, nerds, that's all I have for you today. I hope you will check out one or more of these shows. I will put their names in the description box in case you guys forget. Sunday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time is our normal live stream, so I hope to see you guys there. Bye!